let's model this do nothing machine or the Archimedes Tremel. Okay, so let me stop that animation. I will start with a new part file, metric, standard, millimeters, a sketch on the top plane, polygon, six-sided, make that, apply that constraint, and give that a dimension of 150 millimeters and exit that sketch and go into extrude with the um, extrude of 48. Okay. Then start a sketch on that face. That'll be a center rectangle. Like this. Make that midpoint coincident here. Make that edge coincident here. Give that a dimension of 28 millimeters and go into the extrude, this time a cut, and let's make that 18 millimeters deep. Now let's make a circular pattern of that cut feature. The rotation axis will be our y-axis, Six times, okay, there it is. Let's say that part as base three wall, in my case. And let's just to give it some distinctive um, appearance, make a shell, take in those faces off and thickness six millimeters, okay. And apply to that face some color like that. Save that. And that is our base, base three. Now let's start an assembly file in millimeters, save that as, in my case, do nothing to, and place that base 3, open, mouse, right click, place grounded at origin, oops, I didn't want that, just once. Go into view. I like it with um, edges. Save that file with that part in there. Have a look at it. Top view. And now let's open that assemble in that tab and create a part. Uh, with a metric template, standard millimeters, call that slider, accept that, uh, okay, slider 2, and pick that face here, and start a sketch on that plane, Projecting some geometry, that edge and that edge, 
and let's make a three point center rectangle that is our center and let's constrain the those corners here here and a parallel mate and then a length now of um, 68 and ah, okay we didn't get yet that center point here create a line from the center up here make that um, perpendicular and project that edge that point and make that coincident make that a construction line go into extrude up to face take the top face here accept that hide that work plane visibility get on that face and apply a draw a circle um constraint to that midpoint and that one given that a dimension of 18 millimeters going to extrude 10 millimeters why not so that's the slider and we return to the assembly save that and give that slider well remove that adapt adaptivity or that and give that some distinctive um, color maybe blue like that all right and let's see so this moves the base is fixed and let's apply some constraints here so i constrain the the bottom to that top apply that and that side to here apply Let's see what that does. Exactly what we want, right? So let's place some more of those. So this is base three. Open, ah, sorry. Place, and now that slider two, open, get that in there one more time. Hide uh, the visibility of those work planes. Same thing here. And give um, that slider just some other color, maybe gold. And that one. Um, magenta all right so now go again into constraint take that bottom face apply that here take that face and that one apply continue doing so with that one and um here over here and applying that and that one and that one apply 
All right, so we got those three. And now we need to position those um, in a way that that is constrained to the center here. Let's check on here with that y-axis. We can constrain that cylindrical face to that y-axis, apply that. Take that one with that edge, apply. One more time, that one with this one. That'll just be temporary to define the position of our grip, which we're going to model top down in this assembly. I'll make a save, control S, and create the next part, call that grip, take the metric template standard millimeters, okay, uh, I I need to change the name, grip2, okay, that face, now start a sketch on that face here, project geometry, and that will be that edge, that one, and that one, great. Now let's um, sketch some slots. Endpoint, endpoint, like this. One more time here, like that. One going up here. Um, and get take that equal constraint. Make those three. Equal, as well in length here, and um, project some point in here and make that coincident on that line, and um, give that a dimension here of 16 millimeters and extrude. Now select the profiles, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and finally that one. 10 millimeters, why not? Okay. Apply some nice fillets here. Six millimeters here. Okay, and then over no, here and there. Let's make that hundred twelve. All right, so a grip needs something to grip. So I'll make a circle here and give the dimension 18 millimeters. Extrude that some 28 millimeters. Um, and now we can return to the assembly, give that grip some nice appearance, that one, why not? Okay, so let's hide that work plane. Let's um, and remove the adaptivity. And now we want to 
remove those um, constraints we had. That one, suppress it. That one again, suppress it. And that one. Okay, so let's see. Our slider is moving. Um, so let's remove the adaptivity of our slider and constrain that here with the insert. Apply that, then um, then a concentric um, mate, and now we get this one here left, and let's use a joint for that. A rotational joint here and here apply that now let's drive that rotational um, relationship here um, start angle is zero degree and is 10,000 steps one degree and then let's animate that and there it is our do nothing machine well I hope you like the tutorial and thanks for watching